qualifiers in just a moment. Here there it is right now. Let's go to Chris and Rob. Japanese Grand Prix and uh, local hero Nobby Ueda has not had uh, the best of seasons in the past couple of years in pole position with uh, Jorge Martinez, uh, Tokodomi and Ui next to him. Then Takata, Monaco, last week's winner in Malaysia, Valentino Rossi next to him. And then uh, uh, one of the wild cards, uh, Fioka. Uh, then Kato, Taco, Gary McCoy, Locatelli, Alduma, Chicanello, Nakajo, and uh, Yanislav Mules. They won competitors on the red. And, uh, well, I think the only surprise at Rob Orme in qualifying has got to be uh, the performance of Nobby Ueda in pole position. Well, that no Nobby, that's certainly bubbling under uh, Chris all the time, the nearly man of last season, but certainly putting together uh, some very impressive laps in qualifying. Uh, but also, Chris, impressed with Jorge Martinez up there on, uh, in second place. Well, he's not on the front row of the grid, you see them. Uh, I think they're making him start at the back. I don't see Nobby Ueda there on the front row of the grid. That, that's a disaster for Ueda. And Ui, of course. Uh, uh, the other one, the, the, there are only two riders, as you can see from my shot anyway, Two riders on the front row of the grid, Martinez and Tokodome. Well, I didn't know, I, I almost got it right. They're, they're not allowed to start on their normal starting positions, but they've not been uh, told they've got to be on pit lane. Right, they're ready for this one. will try and uh, seize this uh, opportunity if he can. Tokodome, oh, and the, somebody went down in a big ball of chalk, put somebody else onto the ground. That was a very, very heavy fall there. And that a... Looked like Machine 12 there, possibly Dirk Rowdis. Well, and uh, there's... A... Yeah, Dirk Rowdis, we think it was. Well, that was a spectacular, spectacular get-off. Let's see whether we can see what happens, Rob. End over, end over, end, takes one rider out, knocks one rider off, and there's another one going straight into the bars, has to lay it down to avoid the tyres. Well, that looked to me, Chris, like the back end of that bike locked up, either seized up, Chris, or, or went down one too many gears, and that bike just launched itself. Well, that's a spec that was gymnastic stuff of the highest order, wasn't it? Meantime, the race carries on. Uh, it looks as though Radis was shaken and uh, stirred, but appeared to be OK. And uh, Martinez looking on the inside of uh, that long, long hairpin bend. And as we would expect, Rob, the 125 still together. It looks slow. Uh, Tokodome is still setting the pace. Tokodome, of course, uh, many people's uh, favourite to uh, take the title this year. Got very close last year, but couldn't quite beat uh, Aoki. And uh, it looks as though the first eight riders have pulled away a tad. Uh, from the rest of the pack, Rob. It's quite strange, Chris, that they have, relatively speaking, behaved themselves. There's not been too much, uh, dare I say it, I'll be proved wrong immediately, not been too much uh, stealing of racing line. They're, they're all pretty much tucking in behind each other, using that all-important slipstream for 125s. And, of course, uh, Suzuka, very high-speed track, and slipstream, as we can see here, all important. Martinez goes to the front then using the draft effect of the slipstream pulling out uh, into the undisturbed air. There is uh, Kato 31 back in third spot, pushing uh, Kato back into uh, fourth position. And so Martinez now uh, has the turn to set the pace. It's almost a little bit like, like uh, cycle races, like the Tour de France. This is uh, Martinez's turn to do a bit of duty at the front. But here comes uh, Nakajo, and uh, Rossi senses the challenge. And once again, it's three abreast. And Nakajo hits the front. Martinez and Rossi complete second and third place as well. We said a moment ago, Rob and you, being proved totally wrong, that they were behaving themselves and staying in line and suddenly there are three and four riders abreast around the circuit and we have, uh, I think, the third or the fourth race leader. This must be the fourth race leader. Uh, this is uh, the first time that Nakajo has set the pace. Martinez behind, and as you can see visibly, they are closing now. This is no longer single file job.
Look at that all over the track and Rossi, it goes to the front, Martinez. And then uh, Cato pushed back into third spot as they line up for that chicane. Well, that's a bit of an infamous uh, chicane, is it not, uh, Rob? We've seen drama there over the years. Absolutely, Chris. There's only the chicane on going under the start finish straight at Assen that could possibly be more demanding than that one, Chris. It really does sort the, the, uh, the pack out, especially on the last lap. Well, Taiko now uh, moving up into uh, fourth place. And uh, really, it's so difficult to actually keep an eye on the, the changes. Martinez there in third spot. But I think it's fair to say that any one of this leading group is still in with a very good chance of uh, victory. And uh, just right on cue, Chris, Nobby Awada in 10th place now, moved up onto the back of this leading group. He is really going to start moving through. He's seen the red mist having to... Uh, to have to start the race from the back of the grid. And there's confirmation, if we needed confirmation, fastest lap of the race for Noburo Ueda, better known as Nobby Ueda, to his mates and race fans around the world. There's the gang, and Nobby Ueda is in that group. Uh, but as I said, still a long way to go. Well, let's talk about uh, Rossi again. As I said uh, quite honestly and openly, he's my hero. He's a remarkable character, still very much a, a, a kid, still just a lad, but uh, with tremendous, precocious talent as a motorcycle racer. But he still goofs around on a mountain bike, wears silly hats, uh, ludicrous hairstyles. He's, uh, and there is Nobby Ueda, just for those of you who wanted to see where he was on the racetrack. Number seven, Nobby Ueda moving up. Rossi, though, we were talking now, he's now beginning to look a little bit like his old wild self. Famous son of a famous father, really. He's uh, inherited that uh, race uh, pace and certainly race strategy. He's leading and looking very comfortable, Chris. I believe what he's trying to do at the moment, other than lead the race, of course, is to uh, just test everybody else out. And uh, an excursion uh, for Fuyaki, number 38, off the racetrack. As we were saying, uh, Rossi leading the race, really just trying to see at the moment what everybody else is made of. Well, Taco then, number 34, actually now to the front, just ahead of Rossi. Martinez still in there, and he's obviously got to be a threat. Uh, oldest man in the race. Well, maybe Nobby Ueda is the same age, I should think, is he? I don't know. I'm getting a bit... Uh, my memory's beginning to fade, but Nobby Ueda's uh, long in the tooth, is he not? Uh, well, is anybody that's everybody's younger than us, Chris, that's for sure. But uh, uh, cer <laughs> certainly a wader allowed to move through again a little bit with uh, Machine 34 uh, just sneaking in front. But it's so close at the front, Chris, it's going to go right down to the wire. Um, being made up by pure skill and ability and, of course, youthful exuberance and lots and lots of adrenaline. But a wader, really, he is the the uh, seasoned campaigner and certainly will look to stay with Rossi, just follow him, see where uh, he's faster, see where he's weaker and certainly make that move to make the race lead very soon and he too, as Rossi's trying to do at the moment, uh, Nobby Ueda will pass Rossi and try and make the break. I'm just thinking, uh, you were mentioning that uh, Nobby Ueda led here at one year and then managed to fall off on the last lap. I think actually we have a recipe here for this race to end in tears. Oh, Valentino has been known to inspect the tarmac very closely, too closely, at the uh, before the end of the race. And look at those two guys behind there, not giving away a big cheer again. You can hear the crowd. They love it. Nobby Ueda leads. Over the curb go he and Valentino Rossi. I think you can tell those front two men are trying. And the two guys behind, uh, Nakajo and Martinez, well, they've not given them hope either. Look at them <laughs> all over the racetrack. Who's going to come out on top? Well, there we go. Number 31, Nakajo takes the, the lead again, but they're all over the place. And oh. there's Nobby Ueda back in contention. It's showtime. Oh, dear. Well, Martinez almost took the front wheel away there uh, from uh, Cato, number 62. And uh, you begin to think now it's just four riders in with it uh, now, Rob. There's uh, three riders behind. There's seven riders uh, in that group with two laps to go. But you have the feeling that it's one of those front four that's going to win. Yes, the all-important corner speed that's so desperately required on a 125 was completely out of the window then. That desperate braking manoeuvres by all of them. They're all guilty. 
uh, into the chicane onto the start finish straight that's really really broken the pack up and there's Rossi on the inside a nice overtaking maneuver by Valentino Rossi it's almost as though he picks up the pace just a half a cog as it were it, Valentino Rossi liked the idea of being number one on the podium last week can he do it again Nobby Ueda the fastest man in practice leads Oh, and there he goes Rossi goes to the front and uh, well, uh, Nakajo's still up there. It looks as though Sakata's now is the one who's going to just dip out. Rossi leads from Oeda, and the crowd just uh, hushed a little bit there. This, oh, and down goes Rossi. Well, what a remarkable incident. Valentino Rossi, well, we said that it could end in tears. Valentino Rossi goes, and here comes Sakata. We thought he was out of it, but in the confusion, Kazuta Sakata looks as though he might hit the front on the last lap and oh dear Nobby Ueda just leans on Nakajo the final lap and what a disaster for Valentino Rossi Rossi got the power on there he had to accelerate as fast as he possibly could out of the left-hander of the chicane onto the start finish straight but just that little bit too much the back tire just lost grip slid out and pitched poor Valentino Rossi out of the front door but fortunately uninjured and uh, well it was chaos confusion and it obviously disturbed the other two and the man who uh, kept icy cool through it all was Sakata. he really did seize the chance it looked as though he was out of it totally but the others they had to shut off because valentino rossi all six foot two of him and his motorcycle were all over the track and Sakata, well i think he would have gone over bike and rider if necessary to win he's a very very ruthless uh, Wiley veteran and Sakata number eight leads he was pushed into second place and Ueda there in the background on the inside sorry goes through Sakata will not have liked that has Nobby Ueda shown his hands too soon that was a, a, too many cor too, corners too soon Chris I'm out of breath Ueda so well they all three want to win so much but Luke going up the inside there on that curve lost them all speed well uh, it's uh, the chicane on the last lap I think is going to be a place not for the faint-hearted. If you're wearing a pacemaker, turn your television set off immediately because this, I think, is going to be fearsome stuff. Nobby Ueda leads from Sakata. Nakajo there, not out of it. Further back, it's uh, Martinez uh, battling with Azuma. And uh, here we come. Ueda, Sakata, and Nakajo. And Nakajo... Well, he's not content with just a podium place, is he? He wants something better than that. Here they come. What's going to happen here? Well, absolutely nothing. That was almost tame, Rob. The waiter just got those few machines lengths, and he's got a clear run to the finish line for the first time. A waiter is going to win. Nobby Ueda started from the back of the grid, and over the line he goes. Nobby Ueda wins. Rob Orb will be off to the bookies to collect his winning bet any time now. Ueda, the winner remarkable performance there's Sakata sportingly giving the thumbs up and uh, it was certainly Nakajo in third spot but what a ride literally last man off the grid and he wins the race and wins it convincingly there was no bumping no barging on the final lap and there's Sakata sportingly shaking hands with Nobby Ueda what a great sport motorcycle racing is and there is the disconsolate figure of Valentino Rossi walking back. There's the result. Ueda, Sakata, Nakajo, Azuma taking fourth place. Good ride from him. Martinez, Kato, McCoy, uh, Takeo dropping back. Then Scalvini, Petit, Locatelli, Monaco disappointing 12. And Tokodome in even more disappointing 13. Ivan Goy, the other young Italian teenager, uh, getting some points and there's the rest of the group and Fred Geisler well back he'll be uh, very disappointed uh, with that well at least Gary McCoy got among the points and that was a very important thing to mention because he had a lot of disappointment at Shah Alam but uh, where do you start when you want to talk about that race amazing stuff well Ueda yeah I'm just <laughs> so pleased you remember last in the airport lounge at Shah Alam, yeah, we talked to Nobby Awaiter and he's had trouble with the team. He was stoked just to get third and you've got a nice story about his suitcase. Well, he was saying that his team's got a lot of financial problems and that and uh, he bought the special bits for his bike in a suitcase, you know, <laughs> into, through his, his baggage weighed about God knows how many pounds and that. But um, he finished third last week and now he's won it this week. 
and to come from the back row of the grid in mm. a 125 is not easy. I mean, the last guy to do that was the guy that finished second there, Sakata. He did it in Spain last year. But I'm so pleased for Nobby. Oh, yes, tremendous stuff. And uh, I guess, well, Nobby well-placed. Sakata obviously well-placed in terms of the championship, which we're going to look at. Well, uh, but go. firstly, the results. Yeah, Nobby was third. Ueda first, Sakata second, Nakajo third, Azuma, and then Martinez. Kato, Gary McCoy, great riding to seventh after a disastrous practice, which is an understatement. Takao and Scalbini and Petit. Championship positions now. Nobby at the top on 40 from Sakata. Valentino Rossi. He's young, he'd be kicking himself, mm. but he's still going to go good. Martinez and... Welcome back. The 